Hi, welcome to the last edition from Linux Mint Sonia 18.2. Decided to upgrade my kernel already to uh, release RC1 and we're off to install Linux Mint 18.2. So how do you do it? We have here a template and uh, some possibilities to show you guys. We have to load first the Linux Mint 18.2 Cinnamon start it minimalize this one and we're gonna boot and show you that's how easy it is to install linux mint it's a graphical installer i don't know seven eight screens you can count it when you're watching the video it's so easy but there are some things you should keep in mind well, let's go over them So you choose your language, great, continue, I never do this but you can of course, uh, third party software, flash etc, maybe you're required to do it, I don't know, depending on your hardware maybe, but most of the time I don't do it and everything just works fine, but it depends on hardware. Next screen is the most important one. I always say, guys, do the most simple option. Don't um, don't make it complex. Don't make your life complex. Don't frustrate yourselves and start using other kind of things unless you know what you're doing and then prepared to learn some more and figure out on Google how to make it work. But the most easy way is just say erase disk and install Linux Mint. Don't recommend dual boots and all that. It's up to you if you want to um, do that. It might frustrate you, it might be easy, it depends on your Linux knowledge. Anyway, uh, best advice I can give you is pop in a new SSD. Don't buy laptops for one thing, but buy a desktop, open the site, change the SSDs from Windows to Linux Mint to Linux Mint to Arch Labs to Arch Labs to Antergos and so on. It's so easy to just swap an SSD. That's the best way to do it. One operating system on one hard disk or SSD. That uh, has proven very useful to me over the years. No frustrations with uh, partitions being gone and so on and so on. Yeah. It's just advice. You can leave it at that and do your own thing. So this is Linux Mint 18.2. The icons have not changed, look has not changed, lots of the applications are still the same. Doesn't mean that they have not been changed, that's something else, but there are no new applications that say, oh, what's this? Uh, they've made a new application or something. So there are the specific uh, Linux Mint applications like Pix here. And there's also a video player, stuff like that. So there are really Linux Mint applications created over the years but basically we recognize everything and we feel quite at home because everything is still looking the same in regards to the number of applications okay almost there you see how easy it is to install it's quite fast we're working on Linux Mint 18.2, making a Linux Mint 18.2 in VirtualBox. Maybe you want to know, I don't know, if you want to know, here it is. 5.1.24 is the one we're having. Let's restart. Press enter. So this is the time you put the USB stick out of your desktop or laptop. And then you press enter. Not beforehand, otherwise you'll see a lot of errors. But you don't need to reinstall it. These errors is no problem. So here we are. Last thing maybe, and then I'll make another tutorial. That's how to fine tune Linux Mint 18.2. But last thing for all of us, you check what your uh, screen resolution is. Mine is this one, so you better go in here. And then something happens, as you can see, 
it looks now a bit strange but the idea is now to press Control F which is full screen and now we have indeed a full screen on my system here so I have two screens left and right and left being the virtual box all right so Control F going back out and then stopping this tutorial.